Okay. Everybody can hear me okay? Yes. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for staying. So the MMP1 CU monitor management system is this box we have in here. Right there. And I'm going to kind of give you kind of a sort of brief uh, uh, kind of just kind of look at a product overview, the key features of this box. And uh, I'll show you the different software you can control that box with. Uh, with the setup wizard, this has a kind of a preset um, wizard so you can go through the different steps and set it up really quickly from a stereo configuration to an immersive configuration, whether it's Dolby Atmos or 3D, 22.2, or any other kind of immersive audio you might want to do. And then we'll have a hands-on for people who want to take a closer look at it, and we'll do some questions if you have any questions on this box. So uh, let's look at the product overview and different features. Uh, it's a Dante audio interface with uh, analog digital digital audio converters up to 192, so we'll do up to 192 clerks. You have eight analog I.O. with a dynamic range of 110 dB. Hey, wait, it means it's a really high com quality converter you have in this box. You have 16 ASCBU digital I.O. input outputs. 64 Dante I.O., which is uh, Dante is audio over IP technology, uh, which basically uh, can bring this box to a whole Dante network. So it can bring uh, other devices in and out of this box. And you have an eight channel strip, analog strip, channel strip within, built in within the editor. Uh, if you look at the back of the box, it's all DB25 connections. Uh, with the 8 analog I.O. you see on top there, below that the 16 ASCBU I.O. or DB25 snakes. We have word clock, we have GPIO, if you want to get a light to come on or cough mute, things like that. Uh, you can control to the GPIO. You have the Dante connection, redundant connection with primary and secondary, so if uh, the primary fail, the secondary will take over. And then you have a dual power supply. So if your system goes down, uh, you won't lose connection with the audio, you still get audio, and you won't lose connection with your talent, whether you're recording voiceover or Foley or, or whatever project. The front of the box has different uh, have five scenes we call, you have a total of 20 scenes we call in this box, but you have five accessible directly from the box, and that means you can change different sample rate, different configurations you may have within the editor and then record it at any time. Sample rate indicator, again we'll go from 44 watt up to 192. If you go up to 192 you get half of those channels, so you will lose half of the channels. Pretty typical on any audio interfaces. Uh, clock set, so you can clock to AES, AES uh, uh, word clock or Dante. And um, the dual power supplies with the main and the backup. You have two different ways you can control the box. You can control it through uh, the iPad. Thank you. Control here. And the or the audio editor, which you see on this on this uh, on this screen right here. Channel strip you have here with. Uh, different functions, you have uh, an EQ, one of the best EQ that Yamaha has with a precise, legacy, smooth, aggressive, different settings. You have the best uh, compressor that Yamaha offers in there on each track. You also have, uh, you can put some insert in there, you have also low cut and high pass. Time delay, trim, face invert, filters, inserts. Uh, you have a studio monitor, so you have a total between the 64 channels of Dante, the 16 channels of, uh, of ESCBU and 8 analog channels. You have a total of 88 channels I.O. you can route through the matrix. The monitor matrix will allow you to do 40 by 36. Any of the 88 channels can be routed anywhere within the system. So you can go uh, 32 by 32. Speaker management, meaning you can go from a stereo setup like we have in here. So the other way to control other than the iPad and the editor is through 
uh, Nuage, which is a controller for QA's doing the input. And that's what I'm doing here. Just the scale of population I have here. And you can go to a left and right configuration of all the surround immersive configuration. The uh, studio management has uh, a six band EQ, so you can actually tune different speakers for your room. So we have a kind of an immersive setup here, um, just tuned for this room. It doesn't really fit, uh, it's not a, a Dolby Atmos standard, it's not an over 3D, it doesn't fit any kind of particular uh, setup. So we calibrate it for this room so it kind of sounds okay. You have a, a, an advanced control room with eight stereo Q studio speakers, flexible tilt back, basically a switchboard will allow you to, I just want to talk to the talent, I just want to talk to the engineer, I want the engineer to talk to the producer behind me or the producer just to talk to the talent. You have all this flexible routing you can do within the box, uh, which is this uh, busing here with different des destinations. You also have a sample rate converter for ESCBU and two level plus four minus ten. And then you can see on the left here the scene management. So you have up to 20 scenes options you can record, different configurations. You can have you know up to 20 different configuration cue speakers, busings that you can record instantly directly from the software or directly from the hardware with the five scenes recorded. You have 35 user assignable. So you can actually quickly access different function of this box uh, directly from there or the, or the, the iPad. Uh, this is kind of a quick uh, short flow of what this box has. You can see me beginning here, analog, I.O., my ESCBU coming in, going to the channel setup we're looking at, going to that monitor matrix of 40 by 36, very flexible, you have some Lip sync delay, trims on everything, talk back levels. Then it goes to bias management, which has fear and IR filters, which you can control directly, and you have different slope, uh, slope options in a box you can go through. And then the 32 by 32 speaker matrix, we can accommodate again from stereo to channels to up to 32 configuration, maybe for museums, so you want 32 channels, configuration for some exposition. Time, uh, time alignment delay, room EQ, the six band EQ I was talking about, and then going to four type of speakers, A, B, C, D. Um, so in this room, what I did is I had two different type of speakers. I have the Yamaha HS8 right here, left, center, right, and then one sub here. And I set up uh, all the speaker VSS5 all on the room with this other sub. So I've got speaker A in the front and speaker B being my surround sound or immersive order. The rack, you see over there, has one MMP1, one Neo A16, which is uh, another Dante audio interface that we make, Yamaha makes, and two uh, XMV8280 uh, amplifier, because those speakers are uh, passive speakers, so you need two amplifier to, to power them. And those have active speakers as well. Um, and then one switch, because uh, Dante uses regular switches, Yamaha makes switches uh, for a very long time. Something specific about this switch has a special Dante mode on it, so you can pretty much throw this switch to any kind of Dante configuration, it's pretty much optimized for it. Uh, and then you have a wizard, so it looks like a lot of different configuration you can go through, could be a little complicated. So you have kind of a quick setup where we'll say, okay, how many sources you want to, you know, you want to deal with, um, what kind of speaker setup you want, you want A, B, C, four different type of speakers, uh, what kind of cues you want, and then talk back inputs, and then you just go through all those uh, basically five steps, and it will patch into everything you need in one go, and then after that you can go manually if you want to. And that's it, that's the box. So I can do a little demo on this. So that, that's basically the setup in here. Um, and again, I'm using, I'm using functions uh, of the um, 
uh, the implementation within within UAG to access different different systems. Then I, then I go with it. And the channel, the one star. Uh, somebody else come in the afternoon and they always calibrated the room for special projects for students. And just quickly go to get some stairs and we make a university presentation. So we'll save you a lot of time. Uh, especially if you do, you know, if you go from a stereo project mixing music to an IMAX project that you might want to do or, or gaming project that you want to want to do with this system. Uh, so you don't have to have obviously a controller. Um, everything can be done with a, obviously a keyboard and a mouse. You don't have to use keyboard. This box doesn't care what kind of DAW, what kind of uh, uh, source you have. You will take anything Dante, anything AECBU, anything analog. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, you want to have some hands on, please uh, come in closer and take a look at it. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you.